welcome back guys to the part two of the part who knows how many so onto the onto the thingy destroying the poles again okay so thanks to our sudden strike of course and the might of our forces the polish offensive is moving on successfully however the opposition is trying to win time and put up some sort of resistance at your section the poles are concentrating troops to set up firm defenses your mission is to capture the crossing and using your superiority in tanks, take the town to the north, destroying the opposing Polish forces. The intelligence reports that the bridge is mined, but you may try to neutralize the guards by sending in commando paratroopers, thus preventing the explosion. That will make your mission easier. So, on to the victory! So now we have, of course, our mission objectives, the freaking thingies, you can see the arrows pointing at what our objectives are and all that good stuff. On the right screen, you can see, again, the, the entire description of what I just read, for those that actually didn't want to read. So, eliminate the sentry with the sniper. Use paradropped sniper to eliminate the sentry on the bridge. Don't approach the bridge with the troops until the sentry is eliminated. The sentry can explode the bridge, and you will have to restore it with the engineers. Destroy the bridge guard. For the further development of our approach, it is necessary to transfer the troops on the opposite riverside. Bridge guard must be destroyed to implement this. As you can see, this is the next arrow. That's what it, All the pink stuff are the coolest things, right? So, on to the main thing. Destroy enemy defenses. The main goal of this mission is to secure northern settlement. Enemy defenses, positions, near settlement must be destroyed. Okay, on to the victory. Well, of course, this is going to be a 30 minute thing, but I'm going to take my time and show you how I play this kind of stuff. Now, first and foremost, the plane is coming. He's evil. So, fire drop sniper. Okay, the cool stuff. So, anyhow, the mod I'm using is as you can see changes the coloring of the stuff the new textures and all stuff now i have deleted two things if i'm not mistaken the trees are the vanilla and the rivers are still blue because they're gray brown color in the mods and the trees are trees from the game stalingrad using the same engine as blitzkrieg so anyhow we're gonna use that we have our sniper air support is available First, we're gonna use sniper and we're gonna Z him or A him. We're gonna A him. So we're gonna A him and then move towards the bridge and de de eliminate the sapper or, or the militia man. But though he's not Sylvester Stallone or anybody else, so anyhow. So yeah, we're gonna wait here with our core units that we have. Of course, the core units are only presented, as you can see, by the rank. So we only have three, okay? So we still have our 2 2 2 armored car we have our panzer 2 f version which i have to really remember i like remembering this stuff so it's a good stuff and of course we have another panzer 2 which is not a core unit he can die as much as you want him to die so only these guys you really have to be careful with because they're core units they're very important units and they're awesome units because of that and I'll show you why I don't actually care. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna try and save them and use them and utilize them where I can and be very, you know, very awesome about that because, again, that's the point. You know, keeping your best troops alive if you can. Losing them is very, very bad. And now we're gonna fire. We can see the range. The range is moving. Yes, yes, we're getting close and close. The shark is closing in. Fire! Fire! Fool! God damn it, you missed him two times, Hans. Oh man. Now again, I would love if this game actually added that their infantry is also important, so you can get them in and try to survive because infantry uh, comes in squads or whatever. You know, these guys, as you can see here. I don't know how many of them there are actually. Squad here. Two. 58. So 58 guys in one squad. So yeah, I know. But you can disperse these guys, that's what I'm actually usually, well, I usually do that <laughs> in the Blitzkrieg. Or any game that utilizes that engine. 
is just disperse them with C, this band, this band squad to control soldiers individually. That's how you use them in Southern Strike, that's how I use them here. And that's how you can really incorporate the entire map with a bunch of soldiers lying down in the grass, you know, and just giving you the entire information and what the hell is happening. Of course, uh, using the officer this way is the most effective way actually of using him because if he's in a group, he will probably die first. So if you attack the enemy, utilize this uh, infantry like a mother humper. Okay, so destroy all bridge guard. Now we have to destroy the bridge guard here. I do not know if the enemy has the artillery possibilities. So we do not have artillery at this moment. We're only utilizing the light uh, tanks, or should I say the heavy tanks of the year <laughs> 1939. That was the best thing you had. So we have our uh, motorcycle BMW. You can use him, I think, as a scout. Of course, he has the MG34, if I'm not mistaken, here. And, of course, he can't really see anything. For that, we can use a sniper, mind you. But, uh, it would be the best thing to use the officer, because we can use the sniper to kill all the guys here. Or, of course, we can just try and... As you can see, we see everything. And there it is, the light howitzer. We have to be careful about that. The light howitzer itself can really damage you. So, because we can't shoot and binocular the damnable thing, with that, well, that means we have to come from the side, maybe, if there is nobody on this, or maybe get from behind and shoot them into the back, because, again, uh, what I like about Blitzkrieg is that, uh, that, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, is that you can't really shoot him straight if he has the defense screen in front of your sniper rifle. It may happen that it will be useful. We also have a squad of Polish troops here. They thankfully, I think they won't, won't be moving. I did play this a long time ago, a long, long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but not in this galaxy. So, uh, okay, so utilizing the soldiers, right? So let's do what I just said. We're gonna disband these guys. Disband these guys, disband all these guys, okay? Now you can utilize them classically, move them in a group like this. Or, of course, use them by soldier, one soldier individually and all the good stuff. Now, I'm gonna add the sound a little bit higher. Yeah, you can see the new sound effects, you know, I'm see, hear them all because the music is probably much stronger. Uh, most of the sound, what I've noticed, are from the movie Stalingrad, which is an awesome movie, by the way. It, it's a must movie for anybody who loves an Eastern Front combat on the Eastern Front and just have fun with that. As you can see, there are some things that I do not understand about Blitzkrieg Engine. Uh, I mean, in terms of uh, field of view and what you can see, because, you know, <laughs> you would probably be able to see at least a few soldiers, right? And this is one of the annoying parts of this um, view crap, line of sight, should I call them rightfully so, because I can't see shit. So I'm gonna try and move him out here. Mind you, you, you have to be careful, uh, do not get countered by the enemy officer and he actually binocular your ass. But again, we can't see anyone, which is a bad, this is, that means that we're in a very bad position, that maybe this slope here is actually screwing us over and we can't see because of that. Now let's we'll try with a different officer, we have two officers more here, we're gonna try and get to the right side here, more into this woods. Now learning, of course, uh, the range and the sight in this game will be it will take a while, of course. But I'm gonna try and be very careful in how I do this. And again, we probably can't see it because of this slope. That means that the sniper is the only one who can now utilize whatever advantage he has on that other side without risking that howitzer destroys most of our tanks. But because it will probably destroy most of our tanks, probably because we're playing on hard, and that means that the enemy has the advantage in damage. Uh, see, this way we can still see what the hell is going on. By the way, I will be saving like a bitch. I want to uh, utilize all this in a nice manner of awesome. 
Okay, that means being awesome about this. Uh, definitely we'll have to come from this side and shoot them from the back. Now get into these bushes here. Behind this apple tree maybe. Now I don't know again the sight how much they will see the sniper. Though I do know he's really imbalanced, well unbalanced or how are you gonna call him. A very super soldier like and mostly like a ninja. Uh, maybe get over here with the officer, maybe we're gonna get them from this side. No, still not thing. Okay, this is what the officer sees. Okay. Now I don't know if he's immediately gonna shoot. I, I don't know if he has the auto attack or maybe because he's a sniper, he's a special unit. We don't want that to be honest. But because of this damnable field warehouse, we probably ain't gonna see what we wanna see. Mind you, for many people, this is probably an easy mission. But for many people, you are not me, an awesome person and a demon. So you don't have a tail, nor wings, nor a freaking horns of awesome. Yeah, definitely we can't see anything with this officer, uh, except these guys, which is, that's totally okay. That's totally okay. But we can utilize this officer yeah. here and try to see Come something in. else. Maybe, um, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe we're going to get a little bit closer, but Come I don't on. think that's going to help us. Again, there is an elevation. An elevation, you can see, it's a 3D terrain uh, with... 3D units, okay, the tanks, but also, of course, sprites and all the good stuff. Yeah, god damn it, I can't see that damn little thing. Yeah. I'm gonna try and come. Yeah, I definitely think we can pass this part uh, with our snipers. Now, our sniper, of course, is the most important unit here we have. I'm gonna, of course, immediately save. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Q, as per usual. Q, Q is always yeah. awesome. Also in Star Trek. Uh, so yeah, just love the Star Trek Q. You know, Q is the best. Fuck everything. Q is the Star Trek to me. You know, Q and Picard. That's fucking awesome. Honestly, and yes, yes, we can see them perfectly. And now shoot. Bin dabei. Nachladen. Yes. Yes. The ammo counter is, of course, you can see, is on the left side here. You can ammo, primary ammo, and of course health, uh, the freaking secondary ammo, and of course experience. He has zero of zero. I'm guessing he ain't gonna get any levels. <laughs> I don't. I mean, again, I don't know how it goes, but we shall see. Anyway, I'm gonna keep this, trying to keep this uh, uh, light howitzer and use them under the enemy positions. That's gonna be awesome, actually. Uh, but I'm gonna just uh, scout uh, with my uh, sniper and see what I can see around and maybe uh, better uh, locations for an attack for my forces because yes, direct attack close. usually tends to kill someone. Mm. I think there are some uh, uh, tank defenses here. Anti-tank so defenses maybe? Erledigt. Let's see. No, tanks. So they have 7 TP light tank and another 7 TP light tanks. Now, I do not know the uh, specifications of these things because the game doesn't tell you that. It doesn't have like, this is millimeter gun he's using. So I'm guessing it's maybe, I don't know, maybe 5 millimeter cannon. Just kidding, I have no idea. So anyway, uh, but I'm guessing it's in, in close to the BT-7 and T-26 of the uh, Russian Federation, which is not Russian Federation, but the SSR. Uh, USSR, right? Yes, USSR. Anyhow, so they have that. So maybe actually, hmm, what the hell is the? But I don't want to touch these guys yet. But I'll have to kill them anyway. But I want to find the enemy uh, anti tank guns and kill those guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, so another 7 TP light tank there. Hmm, what they have? They have an officer there. Officer can be a perfect target to kill. Uh, just officers. You know, killing officers the themselves, I think, yeah, definitely. Let's see the range. We, we should try to maximize our distance uh, just to make sure that we don't get shot by anyone else. Jetzt geht's los. Nachladen. 
Come on, kill him. Just him. I don't need anybody else. Again, officers are the ones that give you the biggest boost of visibility, and he's dead. Okay, perfect. Anyway, uh, as usual, mod that I'm using is on download the download link or show all link or freaking description. Look down there. Use the freaking buttons. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go to the left side now just to check out what the hell I'm, uh, I can see before moving in Just to make sure before utilizing my forces and min my minimizing my casualties again Compared of course in Blitzkrieg 2 you have reinforcement points So you have uh, for each mission has dependable on a mission has a certain amount of reinforcement points You use those reinforcement points to call reinforcements and that's it. You don't have any more but you cut out under the max, under the campaign reinforcement points, under the main campaign reinforcement point that is. So for instance, you know, if you have like five freaking reinforcement points on this one mission, uh, in, and the campaign is like maximum at the moment like 45, then you will have, and if you use all the five, you will of course only have 40 for the main campaign, aka, yeah, the main campaign. And then of course the last mission, which usually is the hardest, gets like nothing. You know, because again, you have to utilize everything, and I, of course, always try to go slow and try to see what the hell is going on under the battlefield and enjoy the perspective of what you have, and and just utilizing everything in every possible manner. Again, ooh, we're too too close. I don't want to get shot by anyone. Uh, they don't have snipers, of course, because you know Germany is the only one with snipers. Let's prepare to run. Maybe they can locate other stuff. Yeah, that's really hard to kill people in the cover. Again, the cover is very important in Blitzkrieg. Polish officer, you bastard, you're so strong. Okay, excellent, excellent. I, we have another here, but I'm not worried that much at the moment. I'm, uh, because I'm wasting too much ammo, as you can see here. Okay, 99 of 120 bullets for this awesome Mauser 98K sniper rifle. But I'm gonna utilize, of course, binoculars, and there it is, uh, light howitzers, the most dangerous things for my core units. Uh, destroying that, of course, everything else falls like nothing. So I'm get into this woods here, maybe, uh, maybe get a little bit. Loud. But first, I'm gonna kill this officer because nobody likes him anyway. Oh, there is the damage. The damage is there. Now there is another game called uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. I'm gonna do a show off of that game. It's a fantastic game done in Blitzkrieg Engine and adds things that uh, the original soundtrack had. For instance, like uh, you can't call uh, units out of the trucks. You have what you have in the mission is limited. And of course, uh, the ammunition is limited. Everything is limited. Uh, so you have to utilize everything in a very, very specific manner. Of course, the way you want to do it. Of course, but still, you have to be very careful how you use stuff. And also, you can disable crew people, crew people, kill crewmen inside the uh, tanks, so you can you capture the tanks. Now, that's awesome. And anyway, the Cuban Missile Crisis is definitely one of the better uh, Blitzkrieg uh, games, alongside with Stalingrad. Now, let's see our range again. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that asshole. As soon as he's dead, we're gonna go onto the artillery, and that's it. I think that would be enough uh, to destroy most of the defenses. The primary defenses, of course, tanks will be the problem. But uh, with our howitzer, the captured howitzer, light howitzer here, we can do much damage. And plus, if I get my infantry around these positions, here around this, and get into these howitzers, uh, maybe I can without knowing this bastard, knowing anything about it, we can use, utilize that and attack. But I, I don't think that's gonna go work really well against the enemy that are probably inside maybe these buildings. I don't know if you can actually see that. I think we can't, or we can actually, if we use the binoculars and see enemy inside the buildings, you can see the lines and all that as we have seen in the first mission. Uh, so definitely, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to go into the woods and try and kill everyone. Again, I know, we know, every, and there, there is a squad of evil Polish officers and soldiers that want to rape, pillage, and burn Europe because they are not Germans, right? Now, <laughs> now on to the more... Yes, 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 yes. Let's get here, save, 
Yes, yes, I, and this is not the hardest difficult. Well, hardest, it is the least. hardest difficulty, <laughs> but it's it's definitely not the hardest mission, of course. But I just want to see the difference between Blitzkrieg One and Blitzkrieg Two, and see how much different it is. Again, the sniper in Blitzkrieg Two is not this imbalanced. You mean they will immediately see him. He has to use the camouflage ability, which immediately as he shoots, he will be seen by anyone who has any fucking eyes. And by now everybody will freaking notice the damnable thing even he's in front of everyone here. But it's okay, again I will not judge the game because of that, Be again that's that's the problem with the engine. Also there is a fix for uh, not, uh, shooting through the buildings and stuff like that, which I didn't add into this at the moment. I will be adding that to utilize the AI to the maximum I guess. and. You know, not the cheap tactics and all that, like shooting through the freaking house. Is that all? I think that only two howitzers and third one down there, but we'll have to check the right side. Again, this will not last long. I will try to uh, minimize well, again, 30 minutes mark for my videos, and they're gonna be awesome about that. Yeah, definitely nothing here anymore. That's done. Hopefully the enemy doesn't retake that at the moment. Uh, what I know is also the AI in Blitzkrieg 1 tends to recapture stuff because he can re uh, again he can spawn units from the trucks and that's why he can re-add stuff onto this uh, uncrewed stuff. Uncrewed uh, guns like this uh, 25 pounder. And of course, but in Blitzkrieg 2, he, they can't because you don't have that ability anymore, and the AI can't utilize uh, the spawning stuff of the of the Zergling inside trucks. I just don't. I mean, again, uh, people tend to say a really most realistic game, but honestly, you didn't play some strike to know what the realistic game is. A realistic, well, realistic. You can you know imagine what realistic is when you play a 2D game. How much realistic can it be? But yeah, that's that's the thing, you know. Uh, it's not realistic to have a spawning army inside trucks, even though in, 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 they count as a resource. I mean, come on, they have to go into the warehouse to get more. Like, come on, maybe I'm wrong, maybe you can't do it forever. I haven't played that much, but what I've noticed really disappointed me at that point. Uh, there are a few things. Oh, yeah, I was speaking in the last video that, that, that there is like the thing about the artillery You can see from where they're firing. That's another thing. You know, I like when I don't know where they're coming from That means that the enemy has a view upon me and I am too stupid to know this from where That's awesome because that tells you you have to look out. There's a sniper Maybe there is something out there looking at your troops and he has a target coordinates for your troops You can die, you know and then you have to find the artillery piece. And that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. That's why I love Sunders Ray. That's why I love Sunders Ray because it doesn't give you anything at hand. It gives you the troops and say, utilize them. You know? That's cool. But again, uh, of course, I'm gonna always compare Summon Strike and Blitzkrieg because that's how it was compared. Uh, uh, CDV, 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 <laughs> CDV, the publishing house. Um, that uh, published Southern Strike and of course the uh, Blitzkrieg series. Uh, I mean, you would compare, of course. That isn't to say the, the same developers that did the freaking game. I hear that like some people say some some developers came from Southern Strike and all that, but still. Uh, again, beautiful game, beautiful engine, a sexy game. I love the utilization of 3D and 2D environments. I prefer this kind of engines uh, compared to the full 3D models because I say those things are much cuter and you know nicer to look at, and they will never age bad. People tend to say, "Oh, but it's an old engine. How are we gonna play? We don't see your units. They go into the terrain." All yes, but the point is that it's it. it doesn't dump down because again I will say the 3D engine dumps down always. I don't know why, but people go with when go with 3D engine they have to dump down something. I'll never understand the point of it, but people tend to do that. So here we have another officer, right? Yeah, Polish officer, let's kill him and then begin our main assault. Sorry that I was talking too much, but people tend to talk. Oh, I missed that one officer right here. That's okay. 
How much ammo do we have? Well, we are getting 65, 64. We still didn't kill that and there is dead. Of course, now you can't really pass through these <laughs> these objects. This uh, thing is uh, so we're gonna have to go around if we want to find out. But that's okay. At the moment, I think that's that's go good enough. Oh, 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 there's another bastard there. Okay, okay, you wanna fuck around with me, don't you? Okay, there's another howitzer. You see, you see, if I didn't see that, I would be dead now. I would probably lose most of my stuff. Okay, the, the only <laughs> no, no, there's a problem here. How the hell am I gonna get there? I'm gonna have to get close as hell to get to see what the hell is happening there. Maybe if we get some kind of sight towards them. Maybe we'll through these trees. God damn it, give me the fucking sight on through those trees. That would be perfect. 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 Oh my god, these guys are really blind. Yeah, I can't see. God damn, at least a little bit. You see, that's a problem. I have to go through this position and try to kill him. Wait, wait, wait. Save. Save like a bitch. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go there. Sniper action for the win. And move out. Move up. Whatever. Come on, don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't. See me. I don't think these guys can because again, their uh, view is. Uh, the tanks can't see much uh, without infantry support. Uh, at least that's how it sounds like. I really, did, as I said, I didn't play overly too much so, uh, Blitzkrieg to n know the difference. But we shall, we shall play the entire German campaign, and hopefully we will win the war. Not. Also, like I, I want that part where you actually start losing the war, of course, normally, and <laughs> normally. Uh, historically and, and then you have to utilize every last piece of technology you have to just lose the game and <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> okay so uh, okay this is perfect position it would seem no that's only one it would seem if there is only room it would seem for one give me a deckung ich justiere auf windstärke 4 so if my sniper dies here that's okay I think he done too much already to the Poles, uh, Polish peoples, and they're dead now. Okay, that's done. Perfect. I think that's it. Now I have to just watch out for this. If someone recruits it, I'll kill him. I'll kill him like a bitch. Now. Okay, guys, you can move in. First, you. You're awesome. Probably gonna die first. That's okay. Oh fuck! I forgot about these guys. Shit! <laughs> God damn it! That's okay. That's okay. I have something for them. Range! Wow! Range is crap for the Panzer too. Fire! There they go. Monsters ain't gonna help you here. Destruction. It begins. I wanted him to move, but no. So now we can destroy and get some ranking for our awesome soldiers. Now we can uh, tell them to not stand ground, which is the bad thing because they tend to uh, chase uh, immediately enemies, and that's a kind of problematic because they can get into a trap, an ambush, or some tank in front of them that I didn't want them to come toward. Now, because we have a huge amount of ammunition. Infinite, we can utilize our best troops to just clean this uh, parts up without infantry. 
Jawohl. Was schneller. But we shall utilize the infantry at this point. Uh, my, Here. of course, Jawohl. officers will stand aside, and we lost the officer that I forgot about. Here. That's it, they lost. Moving in. Now we know that there are two tanks on the right. That means that we have to be very careful about this. You guys captured that. Okay, maybe only one person can actually take that. Though I think there are at least two. Hmm. Maybe they need to be in a group to actually... Yeah, probably uh, to utilize the maximum amount of the guys that can be on the one of these uh, light howitzers. Okay, let's turn this around. Uh, we can't. I was right. So this is one of, I guess, the problem here. Uh, maybe I can utilize the truck for him to move without uh, screwing around with squads. Move in, move in, Aman. Move up, move up, freely move up. You guys move up. What do you have? Mauser 98. Okay, you have a anti tank rifle. I'll try to utilize you against those tanks. Moving our infantry, of course, here. Yeah, I can definitely do this. Get him somewhere else. We have now, of course, our field warehouse. We can utilize that for ammo, which we'll have plenty. Yeah, let's let's make him stay there. And you guys will go onto the right side and try to hold off if the enemy ten uh, attacks with those tanks. Though I don't think they will. This is a defense mission for them, an attack mission for us. We will need our officers, of course. We'll have one drop point for our officers, uh, so we know where they usually are if they're not in use. Okay, so I'm gonna stop video here. I think this is enough. A little bit to talk, a little bit of action. I think that's cool enough. Okay, he's passing out this uh, German officer with uh, Walter P38 sidearm. Now we have our rifles. We're gonna try and do what I tend to do in Southern Strike. <laughs> Try and move them a little bit towards the bushes, uh, drop them around, get some kind of view upon the battlefield uh, from every position, maybe near this village, maybe the village is occupied, probably the Polish soldiers, I don't know, we'll see as soon as someone dies, get behind this uh, tree, what the apple tree, another apple tree, get behind that apple tree with the, our Mauser, the most of them of course do not have uh, the machine guns, as you can see they are all Mausers, before we get the MP39, 40, 41, and of course MP44. Uh, get our anti tank near our uh, uh, tank positions. Yeah. Uh, our, let's see. Yeah, we have a few more of these. We're gonna put one here and one here in front. The, I don't worry too much because, again, this is the beginning. I think we have dealt with most of my enemy forces that they have. Well, their enemy forces, my enemy forces, their enemy forces. Who knows? Someone's enemy forces. You can see there is a little bit of hill here. He can't really see what is down the road. I think he will have a better view. Uh, doesn't matter really. Uh, maybe. They, oh no, they were here. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. My bad. It's nothing on this crossroad. So that means that they're gonna move nowhere. They're gonna start moving. Moving up. Come on, move. Do we have another officer here? I certainly can put him here on this little hill. Maybe he's gonna see more. 
nobody he can't see anyone okay i'm gonna put uh, this german soldier here and one here in here so if the enemy actually ten well attack from those sides i don't know maybe you know if you expect the worst of course first and foremost you always expect the worst and get here here and uh, one of course if they are uh down on the ground they will help a lot you will stay here yeah you up here you two in front of the officer so we did don't worry about our officer this is the anti-tank dude we're gonna move towards the anti-tank position that will be on the right uh, side there yeah uh, we're gonna move our uh, two to two on the left because the left is a soft spot we have only have soldiers there uh, so we don't have to worry about that at all actually. As you can see, the sound and voices taken from many of the movies, of course, and yeah, they tend to go like that. That's from the mod, of course, understandable. Yeah. Uh, what we have here, we have three soldiers uh, with the uh, Mausers, right? Yeah, Mauser, Mauser, Mauser. They're all Mausers. What the hell am I talking about? Okay, now we have our howitzer, and let's see what should we put. I'm gonna put it onto the most uh, valuable position, which is non-existent at this point. I'm gonna put it here. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, can you turn now out by yourself? Of course you can. Here. You stop. Okay. You. Come on. Stop. I need to put someone yeah. up there. Oh, God damn it. Stop. Oh, thank you. Uh, nobody can actually now go. God damn it. That means that we have to utilize this. Uh, reinforce. And this is the thing that I hate. Reinforce. Trucks will restore squads and artillery crews to full strength around specific point. Why? And there it goes. There you go, your friend. And this is what I wanted to show you. What's so bad? Doesn't matter. We get two guys. Now turn, please. I think it will take some time for them to actually turn around. Please. Do we need to shoot someone to you for you to turn? Thank you. Jesus. Okay, so we have our artillery with as uh, full ammo as you can see on the left side. And that's it. We're gonna. Excellent. We don't, don't see anyone, but it's excellent nonetheless. Now, the point is to destroy those tanks before they can reach our positions and uh, attack our main core units. Of course, we have that one tank here, right? No, we don't have that one. Where the hell is my tank? Oh, there he is. There is a tank. Also, there is a mod that uh, cuts down that the ability for you to go over the harder trees with tanks and all that. So not everything is breakable. There are many beautiful little mods that add just enough for you to be awesome about this game. Okay, so we have our, of course, an engineering trucks. I'm gonna save here and that's it uh, for this at the moment. Next episode we're gonna be awesomer and maybe all better.